out flying yesterday in the 70, 70 degree weather. It's snowing today, by the way. And a couple of funny things happened. Um, and uh, not that, not this. I mean, this is funny. This is one of the funny things that happened. We could not get Merrill's plane launched. I don't think he thought it was very funny, but I think the CG's wrong. Um, anyways, Tom had his full size Sky Hunter out, and we could not uh, figure out why this thing crashed. Um, he apparently had a, uh, here's my awesome launch technique, by the way, here we go, woo, and, oh, yeah, it crashed, um, couldn't figure out why, why, Merrill, uh, why Tom's plane, his full-size Sky Hunter suddenly decided to fly straight up in the air, here's Ryan's video from his Nano Sky Hunter, which has a windshield wiper on it, by the way, seriously, dude has a windshield wiper on this thing, there's the Sky Hunter, it ejects the battery straight out the front and goes straight up in the air. So we didn't know that it ejected the battery straight out the front and we had assumed, here's the battery right there, you can see it just flying out. And the battery flew out when the plane was straight and level, which is so weird, how does it happen? Battery's out now, plane goes up in the air. We thought that um, his tail, uh, his elevator, we thought there was something wrong with his elevator. The plane fluttered down to the ground and was totally fine. Uh, but it turns out, I don't think there was anything wrong with the elevator. Uh, the reason why we thought there was something wrong with this elevator was because he has this um, vinyl piece on his plane right there. You can see it in the video flapping around on the elevator. Uh, but that was not the problem. Um, the problem uh, was that the battery shot out the front. And I'm like, how does this happen? Well, I figured that since we found the battery in a different location than the actual plane. We found the battery. The plane went down here. The battery was found here and the canopy was way up here. So I got to thinking the canopy had to come off at a different point. And then the battery was loose and it fired the battery out the front from all the pressure that built up. And actually Merrill had said negative pressure in the canopy um, probably shot the battery out the front, and I'm like, that's ridiculous. But then I was thinking about it. So this is a previous lap uh, following around Tom's plane right here. And I was looking at all the videos, and um, if you look at this video here, you can see not only has he got that flapping stuff in the wind, but also as we come next to the plane over here, you can see that he doesn't actually have a canopy on it. He had already lost it. The canopy's not on the plane. But he didn't notice because the camera is below the canopy line. Um, so, and if you look, the battery is actually sitting sideways in the plane. If you go back and look at that, you can see that the battery is in fact like kind of askew in here. Maybe you can't really see it in the video, but it's not really in there right. It's a little bit askew. So I'm like, well, he must have lost the canopy at another point and I think right around the two minute mark of my video is that where it is? He's uh let's see. We're we're doing slow mo. I think I'd gone inverted at some point. You can see where the, the canopy's on the plane now. I don't know where where it is, but is this when it comes off? No, the canopy's already off. Anyways, I've got a video of the canopy coming off the plane. There it is, right there. See it? Right here. I'm going to go inverted. Right here. And the canopy flies off the plane. So now what had happened is all the pressure built up in the plane and shot the, shot the battery right out the front. Because it was, uh, it wasn't, um, it wasn't Velcro down real good, I guess. And just the force of the air just was enough to just flip it out the front of the plane. Uh, CG is lost in the front, so all the, all the weight comes out of the front. The tail tips back, the plane goes straight up in the air, and then it fluttered down and landed safely. I just thought this was kind of crazy. Um, and it was, uh, it was pretty hilarious. Another hilarious thing that happened was that Merrill's plane, Merrill hit me uh, with his plane, which is kind of funny. And if you listen to the video here, you can uh, hear his plane incoming. Here it comes. 
here right now. Oh, it hit me. And I'm trying to power up, but my prop was actually stuck in his wing. And there, there he is, right there. The beastard. But that was pretty hilarious. So uh, we both landed because we both lost our props. But his plane, it just... Uh, Here, here it is again. Weak. Yeah, so his plane had half my props stuck in, stuck in the wing. It was an awesome day of flying. We all had a pretty good time. Um, but some interesting things that happened that day. All right, guys. Everybody say bye. 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 Don't forget about NAFPV this year. It's in Canada. Nice Lego dragon, dude. It's a pterodactyl. It's a pterodactyl. Peace out.